What's up everybody? We got another suggestion. We are tying a dun fly. Now, the actual suggestion was for a blue dun and a size 14 hook. Now, I can't meet all of those requirements and I will explain more in the video. Let's do this. But before we do this, you guys know the drill. Comment down below any idea for a fly you want me to tie. I will tie it up and you'll be entered in a drawing to win a bunch of my flies. All right, so like I was saying before, the fly that was requested is actually the blue dun and a size 14 hook, which I have that. Actually, I think the hook I'm using is smaller than a size 14 hook, um, but it's it's around that size. It's, it's at least a 14. Um, but as far as a blue dun goes, I don't have the right material. So rather than just not tie the fly, um, I'm just gonna tie a dun. And basically what a dun is, it is like a freshly hatched mayfly caddis type fly. So basically it's a really small dry fly that has the wings and the basic shape of the mayfly or a fly like the mayfly. Um, so this is a, I'm pretty sure it's a size 14 dry fly hook. And then I am gonna use gray uh, thread. So basically right here, I'm just showing you the size of the hook so you, you know that it is a very, very, very small hook and a very challenging size hook to tie a fly on but here we go let's go ahead and start it doing gray uh, i could almost tie so the two materials i don't have that i needed for this were the wing material which is a feather i can't remember what kind of bird it is but the the feather I didn't have the right color, so I ended up using turkey feather on this one, which you'll see here in a little bit. And then the hackle is a gray, uh, super, super small gray saddle hackle that I didn't have. So I may do with that. So the fly, the basic fly pattern itself is the right type. It's just the colors are off. So, oh well, this will work. This is a great fly. I know it's going to catch fish. So here we go. Right now, I'm actually going to show you what the blue dun looks like, so you can kind of compare it to what I end up tying. Um, pulling it up right now on my phone. Boom. So that is that is the blue dun, and I'm just going to tie it done. First step is the wing material. So I'm taking these turkey feather from a turkey that I shot a couple of years ago. And this, like I said, is gonna be the wing. So you wanna cut two pieces and, well, the best way is to just show you what I'm talking about. This is still new to me, the, the different techniques and whatnot. I don't know the exact terms for it, so. <laughs> Just watch what I do. <laughs> Maybe one of you more experienced guys could help me out. <laughs> but, uh, some moments like this that I'm glad I put background music to these things. I was actually talking to my brother. My brother's the one that suggested this. Now, he doesn't have anything to do with the channel. Um, I don't want everybody to be like, oh, well, he can't win. No, he's his own thing. He's He does his own thing. We do go fishing and stuff, but he, he chooses to not be a part of the channel. Um, he, he just wants to do his own thing. So he's the one that suggested it. And the main reason why he wanted me to try this fly is because his wife is from Alaska and he goes up to Alaska all the time and catches grayling. And this is like one of the main flies that they use for catching grayling. This fly also works really great for, for trout. So that's what I'm excited to try it for, is catching trout in the Rogue River or some streams and creeks around here. But I'm trying to get the wings the way I need them. So bear with me. I kind of cut this, but I'd like to show you the struggles of a size 14 and smaller hook, especially with, the, with someone that has super large fat sausage fingers like that. I make it happen. It actually turned out pretty cool. And I tied a couple of these. 
And then I also tied one that has a synthetic ring material. Uh, I didn't put it on video, but um, I'll show you guys in a future video. Also, while I'm waiting, um, I posted another video. I'm gonna start doing something uh, different that I've never done before. And I'm gonna do um, live stream sessions. I'm gonna start on Monday, uh, February 25th. So today is Thursday. Uh, I'll be in a few days, I'm gonna start telling flies live. And it'd be really cool if you guys could check in with me and maybe request some flies that I can tie live. So it's gonna be pretty fun. But right now, setting the wings, lay them parallel to the hook and you want to pinch them kind of tight while you set them in because uh, you want them to stand straight up so you want to pinch them time in <coughs> excuse me and then tie in front of the the wing as well and then make sure you clean up as much of the tag end of the feather as you can. Um, you don't want a whole lot of material on this fly. So. Like that. Now the body, a lot of guys on these I notice will use, especially on the, the bigger size, um, they'll use a dubbing or some kind of material. I'm actually just gonna use thread on this one. I don't wanna make it any heavier than I have to. Uh, I want it to float pretty nice, being that it is a dry fly. So I'm gonna just use thread now. Right now I'm tying in the tail. I got a gray feather, just pulling off some fibers. And the tail should be about the same length as the hook. So put it up there, looks good. So I'll grab it and tie it in. And you want it to curve up if all possible. You want the tails to curve up. Just imagine a mayfly. Now its tail, it's got those wispy strands that kind of shoot up. Just like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and thread on my body. Kind of get a tapered look. This part takes a little while. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just getting over this cold that's going around here. I was worried I was gonna lose my voice and doing videos every day. I was thinking that's not gonna be good if that happens, but we were lucky and it didn't happen. Just kinda got this little cough going. So there's the body nice tapered thin body so the next step is the hackle now normally the blue done has a gray or blue uh, kind of like when you see people say they have blue hair it's old people have blue hair it's it's gray I mean it's it looks kind of blue in certain lights but it's gray um, I didn't have a blue hackle so I'm using a white and black stripe tackle and the smallest the smaller you can get the better this is a very 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 small fly so um i found the smallest piece i could and then i tied it now the hackle's gonna go it's gonna start on the back of the wing and then it's actually gonna wrap around to the front of the wing so start it in tied in and then put that thread right behind the eye of the hook grab your hackle pliers <clears throat> this is actually a very small hackle, so hackle pliers is the way to go. You can grip them pretty nice. So. <coughs> Wrap them on. Like so. And I think this is my first. Could be wrong, but I think this is my first like non-super realistic looking uh, 
dry fly. This is actually a classic um, dry fly rather than a realistic looking fly. This, this fly is meant to perform. It's not meant to look pretty. <laughs> I mean, it's a good looking fly, but it's not, you're not going to see it and go, oh, that's this kind of insect. It's, it's just, unless you know what you're looking at, it's just to catch fish. And it's a great fly to do that. You're going to do a whip finish and you're going to make sure that you don't overlap any of the hackle strands. And if you do one or two, that's fine. Um, but you want to get it as close to the eye as you can without wrapping up any of those uh, hackle fibers. So go ahead and get down there just like that. And then I'm going to do another one of just three three wraps, just kind of extra security. Like so. Nope. That's basically done. Haha, <laughs> get it? Basically done. Separate the wings a little bit. Now, the hackle that I use is actually a little big. If I would have had smaller hackle, it would have worked even better. But this fly will work. This fly will catch fish. I promise you that. It is a great fly. You can see how the wings work down once I focus it a little better. Pretty cool looking little fly. Can't wait to give it a shot. Can't wait to actually see if I could film my brother fishing this fly. I'll be tying a few more for him after the giveaway. And here's another one that I tied. Kind of the same thing. The wings are a little bit flatter on top, but I use the same exact materials for this one. So, pretty cool. And here are both of them together. Right about here. <laughs> Two little done flies. And I wanted to do a size comparison just to show you guys just how small this hook was. Um, Thing I could really think of was I had a I had some change in my pocket and I was hoping I had like a dime or a penny but I had a nickel so this is a size comparison to a nickel check this out nickel why so the hook could actually fit inside the head. Super small. All right, that's gonna do it for the Dunfly. Make sure if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the notification bell so that way you know when new videos are posted. Make sure you like the video, comment down below, and share these with your friends and family. And thank you for checking in with me, guys. Until next time, take it easy. We'll catch you on the next one.